I'm watching Bradshaw on this thing, right? And I'm going to myself, and not to bring up a subject, I'm not going to belabor it, but I mean, <laughs> I've seen it all. Right. And I get so tired of people, you know, fans, marks, whatever they are, whatever, in all due respect to them, but they don't have an opinion if they're not there. Right. And to me, I'm never going to get off the fact that wrestling is a fraternity. Yes. It should be a brotherhood. Respect everybody. And there's no time for anybody to cause anybody personal embarrassment or hardship in our business. There's no place for it. We all know the story on Bradshaw. It's fucking brutal. But he's rewarded by the Hall of Fame. Hey, that's their, it's their company. They can do what they want to do. But what about the three or four guys that I've seen melt down personally, melt down and cry? They're so humiliated. So anyway, getting back to the question. Well, no, let's let's follow up there. I didn't know you and John had a falling out. When I didn't I have a falling out. I'm making an observation. Okay. He's always nice to me. Right. Uh, I, here's the idea. I, 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 everybody can take a rib and all that, but but, but be, outright bullying a guy where he where he feels like shit right. is not is not healthy. Right. It doesn't do anybody good. He's never done anything to me. Right. You know. And I, I guess I'm lucky, but I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tolerate it if he did. And obviously, Joey Stallard didn't neither, from what I've been told. So you know, it just got to be cut off somewhere. But I've seen people just cry, right? You know, over humiliation. And we're supposed to be a brotherhood, right? Hey, it's like I can remember. I've been ribbed, you know. But to me, a rib too is also when everybody laughs at the end, right? That's right. Okay, I'm, I'm on an airplane flight with Ryan Nobbs. And everybody looks at me and starts laughing. And David on the flight, they look at me. And I go, what are you looking at? And I go, oh, no. And not, Nobs shaved off, shaved off my eyebrow. Okay? He roofied me, whatever you call that shit. Yeah. Shaved off my eyebrow. And I, I started screaming. And then I, he, he comes out of the bathroom, which is two feet from me. This is on an international flight. And he's going... God dang, look at Henning got me too. <laughs> he shaved his own arm. <laughs> no, how could I get mad? I was so mad I wanted to quit and go home. But he, how do you get mad at Brian? <laughs> he shaved yeah. his own eyebrows off. So at the end of the day, I laugh. I go, you know, <laughs> and he blames it on Kurt Henning, who's not even on the plane. <laughs> Not that Kurt Henning hasn't <laughs> H bombed a few people. Good lord. <laughs> but <laughs> now it comes out of the bathroom. I mean, you would have died. God dang that Kurt Henning he, he, he shaved his own eyebrows off. <laughs> Who does that? <laughs> Brian Nobbs. <laughs> hey, you saw him at the last how funny was he at the last <laughs> at the last match? <laughs> He, he told the story about me putting the girl on the phone. <laughs> he jumped on that bed right away. <laughs> what are we going to do with you? <laughs> I know to cheer a guy up. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. You're not allowed to be down or disappointed or upset. Hell no. It, 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 that won't yeah, I, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> no. 